In this video I'm going to teach you how to differentiate from first principles. The first thing I'm going to do is show you a short graphical demonstration of what the derivation is going to be. Then I'm going to get the formula doing it algebraically and then finally I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to differentiate from first principles a polynomial and the steps I go through on that question are exactly the same in every polynomial you have to differentiate. The only thing that might be dif um, different is that the expressions that you have to expand, the brackets you have to expand, might be more complicated. This is going to be a short demonstration of what I'm going to do with you algebraically in my next slide. So here we've got the true gradient um, of the point on the curve here, B. And what we want to do is find out what that is. Now what we do with differentiation from first principles is we say, well, let's put another point on the curve some distance along, and in this case it's 2.5, and draw a chord between the point where we want the gradient and that new point. And let's look at what that gradient is. And that gradient you can see here is 3.5. Now as I move that point closer and closer, we can see that the chord gets closer and closer to the actual tangent. At this point here, the gradient is 2.02. .02. As we keep going down here, it's 1.35, until eventually when we get really close to the bottom, we're only um, 0 0.01 off. Now, if I got even closer with D, as D gets closer and closer to zero, then the gradients would effectively come the same. So let's derive the formula for differentiation from first principles. So you might remember back from earlier on when you were looking at equations of straight lines that the gradient is just the rise over the run. Well, the rise in this case is going to be the distance from here to here, and the height at this point is um, f of x plus h, and the height at this point is f of x. So in this case, the rise is f of x plus h minus f of x. The run is the length of the red line, which is um, h. So that means the gradient is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now we saw in the little demonstration earlier on that the gradient that we want is the gradient here and we get that as this point here gets closer and closer to the point here. Now that happens as h gets smaller. In fact as h gets closer and closer to zero the gradient gets closer and closer to the gradient that we, we require. And the gradient at that point is called dy by dx. So we end up with dy by dx equals the limit as h goes to zero. That means as h gets very close to zero, if we let it go to zero, of f of x plus h minus, minus f of x over h. OK, so let's do an example. So in this one, we're going to differentiate from first principles y equals 3x squared. So the first thing we need is our equation, and we're actually given that equation on our formula sheet, so we don't have to remember that. So what do we need? Well, we need to know what f of x is, and f of x is just 3x squared, and f of x plus h. Now, to get f of x plus h, all we do is we replace the x with x plus h. So we get f of x plus h equals 3 and then it's open bracket, x plus h all squared. We can now fill out the equation. So instead of f of x plus h, we put 3 times x plus h all squared. Instead of f of x, we put 3 minus x squared. Then at this point, we're always going to expand the f of x plus h term, and we end up with um, this expression. And with polynomials, you're always going to be able to cancel out the original and um, y term, the 3x squared. And you can see that those cancel out to give us this. At this point, again, with polynomials, we're always going to be able to divide out the h. And then we've got this. If we let h go to 0, well, that's going to have no effect on the 6x because there's no h there. But the 3h will go to 0. So we end up with dy by dx equals 6x. 
in the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.